The alarming triple threat across the country. The vast majority of states are reporting high or very high levels of the flu, COVID, and RSV. Morgan Norwood is here now with more. Good morning, Morgan. Hey, good morning to you, Michael. Flu, COVID-19, RSV, you know, it's really going, ar going around, and I feel for you if you are sick. If not, you likely know someone who is, and it's because 38 states you see there are reporting very high or high levels of respiratory illness, and we really see it in the South. That's where it's most severe, and of course, these spikes constrain emergency rooms. And So let's talk about what's sending the most people to the ER right now. That's going to be flu and COVID-19. Flu hospitalizations up 35% in the CDC believes flu infections will continue to grow. COVID-19 hospitalizations, they've increased for eight weeks straight, recently jumping 20%, but I will say still much lower than this time last year. And then finally, RSV, though cases are still on the rise, many parts of the country, uh, it's dropping in other areas. Infants and children, remember, under four are hospitalized with RSV more than any other age group. We are expecting another update from the CDC later today, but either way, health officials want to continue continue to stress the importance of getting your updated flu and COVID vaccines as well as RSV shots. Guys. Yeah, very important there, Morgan. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.